So finally riding the Honda X Blade. Look at the headlights man. It does look like an alien. So let's do it. So as you see in the beginning of the video, it is not a difficult task to take a U-turn on this motorcycle. Much easy. This has a decent power to filter in the city. Okay, I'll just ride for some time and uh, stop somewhere to give you an update. This place is so silent. Alright YouTube, so here we have the Honda X Blade 160. So I was just riding this motorcycle for the past 20-30 minutes and I have some observations to uh, share with you guys. So let's get started. So while sitting on the seat itself I find it much comfortable. Actually you could see that the uh, rider seat is much wider and you, you see these carvings. So the good thing with all these carvings is that you have much more space to sit. So Honda has uh, designed the seat in that way. And to talk about the pillion seat, the pillion seat is also much comfortable if you see over here. So let me just get on to the pillion seat and I will talk about it. Alright, so now I'm sitting in the pillion seat. So what I could see is that there is good space to sit in this motorcycle for the pillion always. <coughs> and also the grab rail is rightly placed just underneath the uh, thighs. So I find it much comfortable sitting as a pillion now. By the way, I find it uh, this motorcycle not to be tall and all. I'm 169 centimeter high, and I feel that this motorcycle will be apt for someone who is 165. They'll be able to plant their foot completely on the ground. No issues with it. Now to talk about the brakes. Actually, the front comes with a disc brake, and the rear comes with a drum brake. Though the front brake actually uh, has a good bite. It is able to stop this motorcycle. Uh, from a speed of uh, 50 and 60 without any problem and uh, much quickly also but the rear brake is not so much great uh, it's because drum you could understand that i actually talked about the riding comfort but i forgot to mention one thing that uh, the riding posture is very much relaxed you have your uh, uh, butt over here and your uh, foot peg comes over here that means your foot will be very much relaxed and the handlebar is also not too much away from the rider seat Actually, it is rightly placed, so in that sense, you have a very much relaxed way of riding this motorcycle. This actually looks huge, man. You just see the this portion of this motorcycle and all. It looks very huge. Okay, by the way, it gets a kickstart. I don't think you'll ever use this thing. Considering the capacity of 160 cc, this has a decent pickup. It doesn't have that much kind of an uh, intimidating power and all, but it has a decent pickup. It picks up really nice, and it has a uh, good power to cope up with the city. I don't tell that you have more power to uh, outcome the city traffic and filter through dead traffic and all. It has enough power to cope up with the city traffic. And now to talk about the clutch and the gear feel. Actually, the clutch is uh, much lighter. Uh, you will see this kind of uh, a clutch in all the Honda vehicles. It is much lighter which makes you to ride this motorcycle in city for a longer time. And the gearbox is absolutely wonderful. Uh, there is no wrong shifts or uh, any false neutrals coming in between. It's all crisp and clear, no issues with it. After riding this for 20-30 minutes, I didn't find any issue of vibration. I didn't heard any kind of vibration coming from this plastic or from the engine. So actually in that sense, this could be a uh, wonderful machine to drive on highways and to talk about the suspension I, I found it that the rear as well as the front suspension is slightly onto the stiffer side uh, when you compare it with the Hornet I don't know it's just with this particular bike but I found it that it is slightly stiffer it is able to take up the potholes and all but when you go on slightly bumpy roads you are able to feel that on the handlebars now to talk about the wind visor actually this actually works fine this is actually a good visor the there is one positive as well as a negative thing about this wind visor the positive thing is that you see this this is very sturdy it is able to cut down the wind uh, in a speed of 80 90 and all 
and the bad part of this is it is actually a plastic visor so if the or any of these screws or anything is loose you will have a terrible time ri- driving this motorcycle and another positive thing about this visor is that whenever you find a better visor you will be able to easily replace it without touching any of the fairing parts and now to talk about the heaviness of the bike it is not that much heavy at all when it is rolling it is very comfortable to drive if you are <coughs> in a stop and go traffic if you are somewhere uh, at a height of 165 cm you will be able to drive this motorcycle very easily and to talk about the build quality of this motorcycle actually it comes from honda and you can uh, you know that honda doesn't make anything bad about it this motorcycle is absolutely well built you see any of the parts you don't find any of uh, the wires hanging outside everything is neatly designed so you'll feel all kind of plastic to be of good quality i know that you will feel a kind of emptiness over here the engine kill switch is missing here but one another positive thing is that it will get a hazard light so i could show that to you yeah and another positive thing about this motorcycle is the key is just on now and it doesn't turn on the entire light system so only this parking light is on now the entire light is turned on only when you turn on the ignition so that's a very brilliant thing which honda has designed to save the battery to talk about the instrument cluster you see this you have uh, all sort of things that you could ask for this is a gear shift indicator it has two trip meters actually which you don't even get in cbr 250r it has fuel meter the rpm meter so everything basic which uh, a 150 cc uh, motorcycle required or sorry a 160 cc motorcycle required or more than that actually and now to talk about the tires i think the front tire is a 90 section i think the front tire is of 90 it feels a bit thin when you compare with the honda the honda comes with a 110 in the front and 140 in the back so this comes with 90 in the front and 130 in the back so i could uh, feel a problem while cornering i tried to corner so it was not giving a good so that's slightly a disappointing factor that the honda has reduced the size of this tire uh now since honda is coming with some kind of a a touring kit for this motorcycle i actually wanted to uh request to honda about few things that makes this machine to be a good tourer the positive thing about this motorcycle is it is very much refined you have good uh seating space you can ride comfortably for longer time you have a good handlebar which is easily reachable the pillion could easily comfortably grab onto this grab rail and sit for longer time this foot peg over here is very much comfortable for the pillion and you see this bin miser you could customize it to a bigger one and all and probably later honda was telling that they could have a luggage rack or something over here so th- here are the few updates from me that honda could take which is that please improve the tires uh bring it on to 110 in the front and 140 in the back which comes with the hornet and the braking the drum brake is not so much great when you uh ride at a speed of 90 or 100s anyway but uh bring the disc brake in the back and have a single channel abs at least so apart from these things i don't have much to talk about this motorcycle actually looks gorgeous the one thing which i liked about <laughs> this motorcycle is the alien faced headlamp wonderful motorcycle by the way the exhaust actually sounds decent it is not so much catchy and all it has this uh, a dual hole exhaust and all i have recorded the exhaust if at all you want to hear the exhaust comment down below i will upload a separate video for that it seems like it will rain so i'll make a move from here so now getting on to the motorcycle i'll update you if i found anything interesting apart from what i told that's what i told the gear shifts are awesome it's so crisp and it is precise see i'm not so much confident in taking it through the corners just because that it has a thinner front tire okay I just run through the throttle hole so the suspension is as i told that it it's slightly stiffer but manageable nothing bad about it I'll try to run over this hump. Let's see how it is. Oh, yeah, as I told. The back suspension is slightly stiffer, which I would like to have a bit to be on the softer side, which will help the pillion in a great way. 
so this will be a motorcycle which is very much good for the city use touring yeah uh, it is kind of an okayish thing because if you are a tourer who would like to uh, tour in a speed of uh, 90 to 100 km per hour then this will be the uh, best choice because this might top up to a speed of 110 km per hour but comfortably this will cruise at a speed of 100 km per hour this bike lacks a 6 gear which actually is a cruise gear in these kind of motorcycle which you see okay now main thing which i need to talk about is the mileage and the service cost of this motorcycle so you could really expect a mileage of 45 km per liter in city conditions and uh, uh, the company is actually claiming a mileage of 45 to 55 so that's really a good thing when you consider a 160cc motorcycle and when you go on a highway the mechanics and everyone are actually uh, expecting a mileage in between 50 to 55 which is awesome and the service cost of this motorcycle is around 700 to 800 rupees uh, per service and this need to be serviced once in 6000 km so maintaining this motorcycle is not a big deal it is much cheaper it is very economic when you consider the mileage and the service cost so that's it with this video if you have any doubts about this motorcycle let me know i'll be happy to help you out so see you in a different ride video goodbye and by the way give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and please subscribe if you find this channel to be worth watching goodbye